I'm very excited about my new developer on the team. Just him getting to work with us. Like uh, he sent the take home stuff like that. You know, he's very junior, very green, but I think he's got the right, the enthusiasm in the right places. And I think the energy I'm, I'm just very happy with. And I think the culture fit at the end of the day is like the biggest thing that you will, that will set you apart. And I think this guy has that part specifically, and I'm excited about that. And uh, well, means at least I have. I think I have another player on the team who fits in and like who can actually help, and I'm, I'm relatively confident about. But. Today is the first day that I've given him access to like a proper project to work on, and uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. But yeah, hopefully it goes well. But he's been sending, he's been texting me about stuff. And he's like, "Oh, uh, should we disable server side rendering because this and this icon is you know client side, and you know I, potentially there's better ways of, of of addressing things." But like, I like that he's asking questions and he's digging through the code and he's trying things out and. I like that. That's just, it's good to see. So I'm excited about that. Uh, other than that, I am, I've been less focused today, like notably less focused. And that is almost certainly due to the lack of sleep. Like I, I did this experiment, not an experiment, but basically a while ago, I, a couple months ago, maybe six months ago now, I started tracking my time and I started basically trying to figure out what, um, like how ma how many hours can I actually work? And I bear in mind, I don't really consider, I don't consider, for example, calls work to be work. I don't think they're, I don't know. For me, they don't feel like work for me. They, they just feel like chats, conversations that, that I find interesting. So rarely are they a drag and it's just the focus, the proper focus hours, like specifically working on something. And what I realized was over the course of a week, my hours ended up normalizing. Even if I had some days where I worked really, really long hours, like yesterday I worked like an insane amount. And then today I've been way less focused and it comes down to that idea of like the debt, the focus debt that I, that I think you have, like you have a limited number of hours that you can use per day in focus. And I think acknowledging that and working with that constraint is much better than trying to ignore it. So, now I'm trying to just like, I'm just trying to push through and focus for the rest of the day. I mean, I know that constraint, but I'm also, that doesn't mean I'm just going to give up. Right. Like, no. Um, so that's right now what I've been working on. Just, um, I've had a couple chats. Actually, my focus hasn't been so bad. It, it comes down. It's also a training thing, right? It's also a muscle kind of thing. Like I think the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And, uh, you know, I've kicked into this kind of high gear and usually I'm a lot better. So, it hasn't been totally awful, maybe not as much as yesterday, but to be fair, it hasn't kind of gotten later at night. I'm going to go make myself a coffee, get back to work. Yeah, I've, I've been considering starting a little Instagram theme page, kind of like a for fun thing. But my criteria is I have to be able to do it without adding more work to my plate. So basically it's something I'm throwing at my assistant most likely. And I'm just going to like give the steps and monitor and strategize. I'm going to do the strategy and give her the execution and implementation. And I'm going to see if that system works because yeah, I think, I think it could work honestly, but who knows? And it's an experiment I'm, I want to run and also won't cost me much in terms of, I already have her on board. I already have bought her time. And like, like I'm paying obviously her salary and I don't have other things that I can immediately give to her that will give more value. And I think like, and that's okay. And so where I mean, I want to run that experiment and I think it won't cost me too much additional kind of uh, time or anything like that. Yeah. There's two projects that still the, like still need wrapping up and I'm excited to push those out. Once those are out, it really like, I think next week we'll be looking a lot more clear and a lot more, just a little bit more breathing room. I still have the Bluetooth thing, but I've uh, sent things out to the contractor that I hired and I think he should be on top of things. So I'm excited about things there. Um, yeah, I'll probably record some more later, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna get back to work. I have a lot of like development work, but I'm really excited to do it. Um, so, so that's been really nice. Like honestly, yesterday I had such a blast doing some of the work that I got, like 
I really, I do enjoy the management. The fact that my client hired me for something a little bit more on the management side was really great. And like, I was super energized. Honestly, I like, I had the most amazing day yesterday and it was just, it was at home working the whole time. And I love that. And you know, I don't necessarily want that for the rest of my life, but I want that for the majority of it probably as in like, I really enjoy doing that for like a couple weeks until I can't. And then, you know, doing something random, spontaneous, having an adventure. And, and I think like I've literally been able to create that life because that's what for me I want. And you can do that too. Like you can literally make life whatever you want of it. And I think really in the past year, I've started to see that and that's been really exciting. And I, I, I just hope to kind of share that. You can make life whatever you want of it. Just kind of envision it and then take steps toward it. And the money, the money is not what you want of life. Trust me. Like it won't like you can, if you want adventures and work, you can have that with not that much of a bank account. Like you don't need to be, you know, crazy big. And, and, and as long as you're moving up, then you're good. Um, but like traveling and adventures don't have to be expensive basically. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to go grab said coffee and maybe record a little update later. Well, I'm about to go walk my dog. Um, it's like the first, not the first break I've had in hours, but it's, anyway, um, other than the slight, like I'm slightly sleep deprived, but I'm still very energetic. Now, it's not something that's sustainable, like sleep deprivation, I don't believe in, but like, I'm just, I'm very excited about work at the moment. Very, very happy with the contracts that I have, the things that are happening and like, I think there's no better feeling in the world. Just like, I'm excited about the things I'm working on, but I'm also, I think one of the key parts of, of being in a good place is looking forward to the future. So you, it's actually the Ferrari monk book talks about this quite nicely, but you need achievement as a part of like your life. Like you need to move forward because stagnation is, is like for humans, it's awful. Um, I think, humans don't do well with stagnation but like the day-to-day -day has to be enjoyable this stupid light is based on a sensor uh, like uh my dog's looking at me because she wants to go out and she's waiting for me but i think it's the most rewarding thing to like be i don't know like sometimes i just look at things and like i've made my life exactly what i want it to be like I wanted, I well, I want to run a business. Like I, I want to do that. I'm doing it. Like I, I mean, I be, it just, you, you can have everything you want is, is what I'm effectively trying to say, but I should say you can have anything you want, but you can't have everything. Like you do have to pick and choose like certain priorities, but like overall you can just, I think not enough people think about what their ideal day-to-day -day actually looks like they only think about like the big aspirational goals that they want to have like they want to do this and that and it's like okay but does that does the day-to-day -day of that thing actually seem like something amazing to you because if it doesn't then you probably shouldn't pursue it like the goal should be making your day-to-day -day something that you really love and what is that for you that's the question and like like i've shaped my day-to-day -to, -day to be exactly what like I mean, sure, there's still some boring stuff, like everything, you know, it's, it's, it's not perfect, but it sure is, at least for me, really exciting. And I think that's something I've just been really grateful for recently. I've just been really, like, I've been super enthusiastic and enjoying work, despite working very long hours. Like, it's just been, I don't know, I think I've been lucky enough to be able to do that, but I think it's in anybody's power to what they want. Um, and I think... Yeah, you should be more worried about finding joy in the day-to-day -day than some big aspirational lofty goal. Like, you can take this example of like getting fit. Like, I, I'm i not some disciplined junkie who's like, oh, at 6 a.m. every morning, I'm going to show up at the gym. It's like, no, I, I, I go to the gym like every day. When I, you know, when I, when I'm in the group, like when I'm traveling, sometimes that habit breaks, but I go to the gym every day because I enjoy it. Like there are some times when I don't feel like it and I still show up and, but that's because ultimately like in the big picture, it makes me feel good. 
but in the moment as well, I love it. Like I, I genuinely, I enjoy the act of just living, lifting heavy things and listening to obscenely loud music. Like if you enjoy badminton, if you enjoy it, like try climbing, try swimming, try whatever. Like there's so many different sports. There's something that you can find that you can enjoy. And it's more interesting to try and find that than to hammer yourself into discipline and liking something that you don't. Now, it is also true that sometimes things take time to like, to like you have to learn to like something. I think you can learn to like anything. I genuinely believe it's a, it's a, it's a mindset switch. If you go to something and you say, I will like this, you've never tried it before, but you will like it. You can absolutely like, I think you can choose what you, what you enjoy and what you don't, at least to some extent. Um, and I don't think enough people exercise that power. Like I think that that power can take you very, very far. Um, because if you can choose to like certain things or learn to like them, you can like, you can be selective about the habits that bring you more benefits in the long run and whatever. Um, it's not to say that what well, you still have ups and downs, but just genuinely, you can, you can make your life, whatever you want of it. If you just bother to kind of think critically about what is it that you actually want and how you want to get there. And it doesn't have to take 10 years. It doesn't. I like, yeah, I mean, it takes a long time. It takes a long time, but more out of the reflections that you need to make. Um, yeah. And then anyway, I think that's a worthwhile reflection. Everybody should think about and not enough people do in my opinion, but I'm going to go walk my dog. Then I'm going to, come back. I'm either going to go to the gym and then have dinner or the other way around, but I'm going to do both of those things. And then I will hop back on to work. My laptop, probably. I really hope I can sleep before two. That'd be ideal. Maybe that's not the case, but anyway, I have a, I have a, a fair amount of work to catch up on. So I might, I might be, I might have to sleep a little bit late, but it's okay. It's just this week, but all for good reason. So good, good fun, good times. I think you can probably tell I'm really tired because it's like three in the morning. I slept five hours yesterday and slept at like five in the morning. <laughs> so it's been a rough week. Like just I've been working essentially double shifts like every day. I think I've been almost impressed by my own. Yeah, I mean, like I'm really happy with things. Like things are going super well. And uh, despite, despite the lack of sleep. But anyway, I just wanted to add a little update because I said I would update it the other day. So as promised, I didn't manage to go to the gym despite trying to have made time for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm in the middle of just the kind of little, a little bit of a grind, grind out kind of phase um, where I don't have much time and that's okay. Like, no, but I've, I've been having such a good time. I've like, even, even though sometimes, I mean, the, the, the fatigue gets to you after a while, especially particularly the sleep deprivation like that. I, I need to try and manage a little bit better. But other than that, like things are really, really like I'm enjoying myself loads. And even earlier, like I had a little moment where I was just like, just very, very excited about things. So like I've, this is, I've, I've made pretty much, I've done exactly what I kind of set out. Like I've started creating what I set out to do, and I'm like getting excited. But as you can uh, tell, my my energy levels have since dipped, and for good reason. So I'm gonna go sleep. Be up tomorrow by eleven for my uh, stand up. Get in probably about what, six and a half hours of sleep. That's good. Yeah, it's not bad. I guess I suppose. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow. I plan to have less, but. It's okay because I, I'm like, I made time for it. So yeah, I think this week could just going to be, I mean, it's going to be probably one of the best weeks as far as like just hard work that needed to be done. So that's uh, the update for today, I suppose. Just lots of work. <laughs>